Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Black Friday actually starts today on Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating, but we have a loading screen that didn't show up when I just logged in, but we have a loading screen confirming that Best of Team of the Week and Black Friday content actually starts today on Thursday in FIBA 23 and all of that with the leaks on top of it and pack code that we have had added is making prices crash on the market. Informs are down because of that best of team of the week leak. Path to glories are dropping like crazy as investors sell cards ahead of what is probably gonna be an insane weekend of content. And there's a lot to look at with the market with fodder going up like crazy in the higher tier because we finally got the World Cup Hero Pack yesterday. So there is a lot going on and we're gonna talk about it all in this video. So if you're excited for Black Friday, Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's get going and talk about firstly today on Thursday, Thanksgiving and pre-Black Friday, I guess if you could call it. This is the best of team of the week loading screen that was in the game. I don't know where it is now, but it starts today, right? That's what the counter was counting down to or the timer. And we know the three cards on the loading screen here. We've got Neymar, we've got Erling Holland, and we've got Mohamed Salah's second in form. So those are what we are expecting to be in packs along with others today. Now, the biggest question you might have is, are all the best of Team League cards going to be in packs today, or is EA going to split it up? We don't know. Last year, they split best of Team of the Week into two weeks, right? Of course, you would ex you would have expected to see an Mbappe card on that loading screen, and since Mbappe was not on it, I think his price actually jumped up just a little bit, but I still expect Mbappe to be in best of Team of the Week at some point, and a lot other informs that are obviously not shown on a three card loading screen. So that's one of the biggest pieces of content today for Black Friday. If you've got Team of the Week packs saved up, today would be the day where you can start ripping them um, at least after 6 p.m. content and maybe, just maybe have a chance of getting something in there because we know that EA said that Team of the Week packs are stuck and you know they're gonna give out Team of the Week nine players. But in years past, they have give out best of Team of the Week. So we'll see if they do that today. Now also for today, for the start of Black Friday, I would expect to see some flash SBCs. And we're talking about this content stuff first because I want to get to the market here in a second. There's a lot to talk about with the market. But I think we would start to see flash SBCs today and other Black Friday related content, maybe Team of the Week upgrades. That was something that we had last year um, as a part of pre-Black Friday as well. So Team of the Week upgrades maybe, Black Friday SBCs, flash SBCs. And then we have one other leaked SBC that could be dropping today. Before we get into the massive leaks that are really causing the panic on this market right now, this Morientes World Cup Hero SBC is a leak, right? And I think this kind of has to drop today on Thursday. The World Cup Heroes are going out of packs. Path to Glory cards going out of packs. This to me would be the SBC that we get today in my opinion. We'll have to see. But I think today is going to be a W day of content with all that stuff going on. And it's going to start to get pretty crazy. So just be careful with maybe some of your other hero strikers if this is a really good value SBC. I know that Morientes doesn't fit the lengthy meta since it's not as meta as much anymore. But depending on the price, still could be a nice SBC to have. And, and that is a nice card there. Now, let's get into the crazy stuff, right? That is making the market crash right now in this game. And the crazy leaks that is even featured in the thumbnail of this video. That is this man. Lionel Messi is added to come via baby flashback SBC stats or a prediction. I want to point this out and we're going to have a bit of a conversation here real quick about this card because this, I mean, this tweet alone, by the way, has 30,000 likes. This is on par with the, you know, last year we had the flashback Neymar, we had the flashback Benzema. Two years ago, we had the flashback Cristiano Ronaldo. This is going to be one of the bigger SBCs of this year if EA get it right. And from thinking about it for just a second, EA have never missed with one of these big flashbacks, right? Cristiano Ronaldo was really cheap in FIFA 21. Benzema on Black Friday last year was insanely cheap. And it was a card that people used until team of the year. Flashback Neymar crashed the whole game last year as well. So I think this Messi is going to be a WSBC. I would say that if you're doing the fodder packs, this is going to be a great place where you could put your fodder packs from the World Cup swaps. I think, guys, this is this is massive, right? Of course, Messi's cards are down right now because of this. The stats are a prediction on that concept card, but we know what the baby, you know, when they when they do like a baby flashback SBC, it's usually back to an earlier time in their career where the player usually had a bit more pace, maybe a bit less shooting, right? I think that's where we're going with this Messi card. Messi's gold card and the uh, road to the knockouts version are down in price significantly because of this leak. But Messi's base card has 81 pace, right? And people saw that this year and they're like, man, this guy's not usable. The thing about this Messi leak is 
The Messi that we could be getting, I think it's going to be tomorrow or Saturday as a part of the Black Friday promo. That's my expected drop date for this. It could be five-star skills. Now, if you look back to like FIFA 12, Messi's card had, or FIFA 11, I think it was, he had a five-star skill, three-star weak foot. We had the same thing with Neymar last year, right, where they dropped the weak foot on his card. I would not be surprised if this Messi has a pace boost, it has a decrease in shooting and passing, maybe a bit of a decrease in physical, but still very high dribbling and then a big pace boost, which would make so many people super duper interested in getting this card. And again, the position would also be unknown, but guys, to be realistic, what could a messy SBC like this cost? If I have to throw a number out there, I think it's going to be somewhere between 300 to 500,000 coins. I don't think this is going to be an exorbitantly expensive SBC because this messy gold card's 80k. The messy road to the knockouts is 1.2 mil. And, um, you know, that's only a plus three upgrade. I mean, plus three is a pretty big upgrade, but it's no longer live, right? This messy card is no longer live. And, you know, this messy with pace would have so much hype and so many people would want to go out and do this so especially with the world cup going on and, and argentina and that first game and how they could maybe bounce back but this maybe being messi's last world cup there is so 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 much hype for this sbc that's where i think the price is going to be at now how is sbc fodder going to react to this I think if I were you, fodder is, it's it's low. Fodder is low, except for the high tier stuff. 86s are 12, they were 11, 85s are in the 6K range, 84s are up a little bit. But I think if I were you, I would not buy fodder yet because we have a lot of supply. And what we're gonna talk about in a second is we have a ton of supply coming to the market via the store packs and via SBC packs later on this weekend. Lightning rounds, probably the first lightning rounds of the year and all that good stuff, probably gonna drop this weekend. So. You know, if I were you and you're looking at this messy saying, Nate, I'm 100% doing it, I think I would still wait on fodder through today, see if there's more panic selling on it before we get to tomorrow on Friday. And then maybe I would stock some fodder cards because that World Cup Hero SBC gets refreshed on Friday as well. So I think we see fodder hopefully dropping off a little bit more today and then with supply from Flash SBCs or maybe rewards a little bit too. Later in the day, we could see the prices dropping on that and then getting in maybe on Friday, maybe during the during the um, pack supply after 6 p.m. content, or maybe it's even before that. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. But I think that SBC for Messi is massive, right? And it, it makes sense. It makes sense for that SBC to be Friday because like I said, last year, they dropped the Benzema. You guys remember that Benzema flashback SBC if you played FIFA last year? It was an SBC that almost everybody did because it was super meta and just incredibly incredibly priced so that's why i think this messy sbc it's not going to be more than 500k in my opinion and i think it's going to be even cheaper than i'm thinking honestly like 300k i think it's going to be in the lower tier of that range but there's so much hype for a messy with pace that would fit the meta a lot more especially if ea give him a good price and they give him a really really good boost so that's what's going on there now we have to talk about the packs and these guys i'm telling you this is why there's panic on the market. That messy SBC and the pack code that has been released here, I'm going to try to go fast through these packs. There is a disgusting amount of pack code that has been added, and it's crazy how many of these are probably going to be dropping in the next couple of days and how many cards are just available from this stuff. So we got an 85 plus times two. We got an 81 times 15, an 85 plus star pack. Now, one thing I want to mention is there's a couple of these star packs in the code, right? These are lightning round packs. These are cards or packs that will be available most likely through the store and maybe once in a while through an SBC or something. But I think last year we only saw them through the store as actual lightning rounds. And you, I mean, yeah, they're probably going to drop like 30, 40,000 of those say, hey, open these with FIFA points or with coins. And uh, those are going to supply the market a lot with, as you can tell, a lot of gold cards. There's going to be the World Cup player picks inside of there as well. Um, and so that's very a, a nice thing that people will be wanting to go and open those packs to get are those red World Cup cards. So those are always in the store. Now we have a foundations pack, which alert, alert, that means World Cup swap token available via a pack. This contains one token, a team of the week player, 12 rare golds, and then some lone player picks for some um, for some World Cup players. So that is going to probably be in the store tomorrow, I would imagine. But there's another foundations pack, I believe, as well. Yes, a World Cup foundations pack. So whether they drop both of these tomorrow or one today and one tomorrow, get ready for a lot of store packs. That seems to be EA's kind of like new meta with the store this year is they drop these untradeable packs in the store, whether they... And, you know, 
contain these World Cup swap tokens or not, these ones will have a lot of hype because they have the swap tokens in them. But a lot of people have been opening those. Now, these are all untradeable as they usually are. But you have 15 rare gold players from Brazil, Netherlands, Argentina, France, or England. Like, man, that's that's pretty crazy. And every every pack that I look at in here, it's just so many players in it, right? 8315, right? You have the star packs. And then you get to the end. And you see this pack right here. Black Friday Centurion pack. This is the biggest pack we've ever had in FIFA. Contains 100... That is correct. 100 gold rare players and 10 player picks. All items and tradable. A 100 player pack of gold rares, which you're like, Nate, why would I want 100 gold rares? Well, fodder, that'd be incredible, right? But also, the gold, a gold rare players, you guys know, right? It says in these packs too. An 86 plus star pack, these gold rare players, it's their base version that matters. So whatever promo cards we have in packs, even like I believe best of team of the week, like let's say gold Neymar were to be one of those rare gold players that as the pack is opened, it would like grab that card out of, out of all the systematic chances or however packs are formulated, whatever equation that is, you can get promo cards out of this pack. I can't imagine that it's going to be cheap or even easy to get. And since it does contain two FIFA World Cup players inside of it or 10 player picks, I feel like that's going to be a store pack too. I don't know how much that pack is going to cost, but it is absolutely insane that we have a pack that gives out 100 different gold rare players. So there's going to be a lot of demand for that. That's just, again, think about all the supply, even though it's untradeable, all of the supply of golds that people are going to have into their clubs. You have a season one review pack. Um, th remember this crashed the market when uh, we all bought out of position cards a few weeks ago. This pack has been updated with out of position cards. So just be careful for whenever that would drop. We'll see that'd probably be a store pack as well. And then a foot hero guarantee and a jumbo ultimate pack, which is 40 rare gold players. That's insane in itself. And then a Black Friday 10 coin pack. This feels like EA is trying to do something nice for us for Black Friday. It must be only going to be 10 coins. And it's going to have three rare gold players and a player pick inside of it. So, again, this pack code and the Messi are just crashing the market right now. Because everybody's like, oh my goodness. There is one going to be so much supply this weekend that it's going to kill the market. And two... Everybody is like, oh, wow, EA is going all out with Black Friday. I mean, that's honestly what they normally do anyways. So that's what is happening right now in this game. Again, I, I don't know when all those packs are going to drop. I think it's probably going to be highly centralized to tomorrow and Friday. But between today and tomorrow, honestly, guys, this is why we were talking about being very careful with our coins and our clubs and, and maybe even staying a little bit liquid heading into this Friday because this is the madness that is about to unfold. Now, a lot of people are losing coins on PTG cards. This is the main point of the panic right now. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these prices drop. It's it's literally because investors in these cards are, are panic selling because they're worried about what is upcoming this weekend. Throughout this weekend, if you're wanting to get back into these cards, there will be multiple opportunities and some great low prices to get back in. I mean, look at Kuti Romero, who we were just looking up, 160K. This guy was 140 to 150 on the weekend at his lowest, went to 230 and is now back almost down to where he was at the beginning of the weekend. Like that's nuts. Put that into perspective, right? These guys have not been supplied that much. There hasn't been that much tradable supply and they go out of packs today. Keep a close eye on all of the World Cup Path of Glory items because even though we're getting a new promo today or tomorrow um, with the Road to the World Cup, which we have no idea what cards we're getting, by the way, for that promo, watch out for those leaks today. Um, these cards are still very hype and very in demand, but their prices are down a lot because they're, you know, people are seeing all this content that is leaked and they're like, oh my goodness, what do I do? These cards are dropping. It's creating panic, right? So, the smart thing to do here is watch these cards buy in the panic selling because now as we get through today, all of these cards are going to be out of packs. It's all going to be about timing, right? I mean, even in general, these uh, cards that represent countries that you think are going to do well in the World Cup, you know, if you can get low prices in the next two days, you're going to end up making a lot of coins in the next week or two, I believe, just because these are live cards with hype that are going to end up rising. The guys from the countries that perform well, Keep a close eye on Path of Glories. That is the biggest tip that I can give you. There is going to be another great opportunity to invest and put your coins into Path of Glories this week in the next two days. Seriously, between today and tomorrow. Now, I wouldn't say I would do it right yet, but I will say that 
investing in path to glory is you have to be a bit early because as we have seen you know they do like to rise very quickly very fast as all these world cup games are consistently going on and these upgrades are going to start happening pretty fast as well that's why is another reason to really 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 watch these path to glory cards into the week uh, into the next two days so that's what's going on there and for the rest of the market i mean cristiano ronaldo i believe was under a mil or under 100k a million man what are we in fifa 21 cristiano ronaldo was 99k earlier today he's back up a little bit but i would steer clear of these guys too i really would ronaldo's back wow he went up really really nicely goodness back to 120,000 coins i mean guys this, this guy was um he was 100k today and i think that this is a card that if i were you i'd be very careful holding on with all the supply that we have coming still this next weekend in the next couple of days i would still not be buying stuff right now i think there is more panic selling coming today i think there's going to be some low prices today um maybe some of your low uh sorry you're not low but your out of packs cards just maybe some of your out of packs cards would hit their lowest point today that's how it was in years past um, with Black Friday, but we have a new weekend league reward system, which uh, not a peop not a lot of people were very happy about. Um, and it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of gameplay demand over this next weekend with people being unhappy about the gameplay, uh, the rewards from foot champs. So uh, if you haven't seen those, it's all gold player picks. And I can show you guys those right now. It is a big bummer. Like if you get 11 wins and get rank five, you're getting a one of four 84 plus gold rare players which yes means you could technically pack promo cards out of these you get a 50k 100k and then an 85 or 83 times five rare gold players pack in there as well so it's interesting how the rewards have changed they're giving out more fodder basically so you're playing weekendly to get fodder but also that's what everybody needs in this game right now so i'm just being a little bit leery about that today but in general i think there's going to be a lot of prices dropping today on the market and i think that it's not quite yet the buy time because of all those insane packs that we have added i don't expect all of them to be in the game today i would wait more towards tomorrow to be looking at buying cards although unless you want to buy something that's out of packs that is super duper rare like maybe a rule breakers card or maybe an out of positions card that is really rare maybe if you see a huge panic sell today you could get involved with something like that but i I would honestly wait to see what happens more this weekend before wanting to buy cards for my team and also waiting to see what happens this weekend i would say again just for spc fodder with all the supply that we have going on the high tier stuff is exploding right 88s are 45,000 coins a piece because of the hero pack that we had yesterday 87s are down everything that is 88 and above went up basically everything that is below that went down i think it's going to go lower today i think it's going to go lower at least for the first part of friday but there's going to be so much demand still for fodder even though we have all these packs that are putting cards in the market i sincerely think that all of the packs that are going to be put out is going to drive people to go and do sbcs and that's why ea have done two things first off they're going to drop a messy sbc for us to do on the weekend and second off they made the hero world cup upgrade that we had yesterday that almost everybody did repeatable one more time on friday one day 18 hours i'm recording this video a bit early counts down to 6 p.m uk content drop time on friday so guys it's crazy it is mental i'll be careful with fodder it's just fodder is going to stay pretty high i think even though with the supply fodder is going to end up staying pretty high and it's going to fluctuate a lot especially on that top tier your 88 pluses i would sell the 88s if you have them now just because the fact that they are 45,000 coins a piece, 47K for some of these cards, almost max price is really, really, really ridiculous, right? Is uh, is Marquinhos extinct? Is, are there any Marquinhos on the market? Only his inform. Wow, guys, this is absolutely nuts with how high the high rated fodder is. I would sell that stuff while it's basically extinct. I think it'll drop back down a little bit more today, but then depending on how low it gets on Friday, it'll probably go back up again. We're gonna talk about that more in tomorrow's video as well well so you know the market the way that it sits right now i am taking a few losses on a couple of cards just getting out of these and just getting my coins ready i sold the walker that i sniped i sold some of these path to glory cards that i flipped within the game i even sold some of the ptgs that i didn't make much profit on if you're going to trade at all in this market make sure you're trading with very rare cards um you know i, I bought some zambo and guises right this guy was down 35 percent um yesterday after the hero sbc dropped he was 70k and he went all the way back down i'm thinking there's maybe a slight possibility that a card like this could go up today after rewards how much is he right now is he 50k 
He has 51,000 coins. So I think this guy can go up a little bit just because you have the Quadrado SBC that is out. Syria has some hype. So I'm hoping that he can rebound just a little bit. And of course, he's out of packs. But other than out of packs, be very, very careful with trading with these cards because the PTG specifically just keep dropping as people are getting out of their investments. But that also means a great investing opportunity later on this weekend as people are done panic selling those and these cards could rebound back up. So it's going to be a crazy day today. Once again, I'm expecting to see best of Team of the Weekend packs. I'm expecting to see maybe a few Flash SBCs that um, Morientes Hero World Cup SBC and just let the craziness begin. Let the content amaze you in the ea sports let just p please pick it up right amaze us let, let let do your stuff today and amaze us so that we can kind of get ourselves back out of this rut that foot content has been in the past couple of days so hopefully they go all out today and all out tomorrow and there's probably going to be a lot of ways to make coins this weekend so we're going to talk a lot more about this stuff in tomorrow's video for sure but if you have any questions make sure to drop them down below if you did enjoy this video smash a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new again have a happy thanksgiving if you celebrate and i'll see you guys tomorrow it's been nate put account and i'll catch you guys later peace out